Okay, this is Dr. Krause with the Windows details of how to install Python for engineering purposes, meaning not just Python, but Anaconda, SciPy, NumPy, MatPy, Web, those kind of things. I mean, Anaconda includes all those other things. So, mainly, I want you to go on the internet and use your search engine of choice to find Anaconda Python. I want you to download the latest Anaconda for Windows installer, run that, and then I want you to choose the Just Me option when it asks who you're installing for. Um, if you choose all users, that might be fine. If you're better at Windows than I am, I ran into some permission problems that later made it difficult for me to install other packages. And we, we need to be able to install the serial module for most of my courses. And so I'll make another option for that in just a minute or another video for that. But I um, would encourage you to do the Just Me option. And then it's fairly important that you install into a path that has no spaces in it. So none of the folders can have spaces in the path. So for example, if your C, if your Windows username is Joe Smith, your home folder is probably C colon slash users Joe space Smith, which would make the Anaconda installer choose this Anaconda 3 folder, but that's going to be bad and it's going to give you a warning about that in the installer. Are you sure you want to install into a path that has a space in it? If that's your username or something like it, if you're actually Joe Smith, how you doing? But it, it, Ryan Krauss, whatever. So then I would just choose C colon slash Anaconda 3 and just let it create that folder and install directly into there. And I think your life will go smoother. So let me walk you through those steps. Whoops. I'm go to my uh, Windows installation here. So I've searched for Anaconda Python. I'm going to go to the free Anaconda download link. And this takes me to the downloads page where I can choose Windows, Mac, or Linux. And I'm going to choose Mac in this case. I'm sorry, Windows in this case for this video. And I'm just going to grab the latest 64-bit installer up over here on the right. And that's going to start downloading. Now, in my case, I've already downloaded it once. And so it's going to download a second copy. And it's going to ask me if I want some kind of cheat sheet. You can decide if you want to give them an email and let them send you some tips or not. And then rather than watching that download, I'm going to jump over to where I already have it downloaded, which is this one. Oops. And I'm going to run this installer. And like I said, I'm going to choose the just me option. And I'm going to probably have to install into C colon slash Anaconda 3 because I'm pretty sure my username has my full name with a space which we'll see in just a second. So I'm accepting the license agreement. I'm choosing the just me option. And by default, like you can see, it's saying, oh, you want to go into this place with a space in it. So I'm just going to click in here and delete everything except C colon slash Anaconda. You could also browse for that, I guess. Um, and hit next. And I'm going to let this become the system Python. I'm kind of assuming that you don't already have Python installed in Windows. And we're going to let Anaconda add itself to my path variable. And that will take a few minutes. I will pause the video here and come back when it's done doing the installation. Okay, so Anaconda has finished installing itself. And I see setup was completed successfully. I'm going to hit next and finish. And that's going to default to opening up their web page, which I don't really care about right now. So you might ask yourself, how do I know that this did anything? Um, go to... I'm going to a start button because I'm running Windows 7, wherever you would search for applications. And I typed ANA. I'm trying to find the Anaconda Navigator. And if this boots up, the first time it boots up, it'll be a little bit slow. It's loading a bunch of things and setting a bunch of settings and so on and so forth. But if the Anaconda Navigator successfully opens, um, I would expect to see a splash screen of a little circle-y, snaky thing. Okay, apparently I just got nervous because it was taking longer than it should. This is the logo that you should see kind of conceptually. This is sort of like a snake eating itself or something. Um, Python, Anaconda, slightly weird. Uh, I, well, we have a moment. Python is actually, originally was created uh, with a reference to Monty Python as like a British humor kind of thing. So it's not all just some guy who's really fixated on snakes. Um, Okay, so once the Anaconda Navigator opens, we are going to have the choice of launching some different ways of working with Python code, and we mainly want to use the Jupyter Notebook. So if you launch that, it's going to start a server running on your computer that's only visible to your computer. You're not serving um, a website for other people um, 
it can be done, but it should not be done by default. And so that will go to localhost colon 8888, and that'll bring up a file browser, and then you could do a new Python 3, and I have a video on how to get comfortable with the Jupyter Notebook, but at this point you could, um, so I'm hitting shift enter to actually evaluate code, and I can do those kinds of things, and I'm ready to go with typing Python code into the Jupyter Notebook. So look for my Jupyter Notebook video. But if you can get the Jupyter Notebook to launch, then you have Python installed, and if you really wanted to prove some things, you could try importing some scientific modules and that sort of thing. Um, but all of that will be covered in the next video. So at this point, I've got a basically installed scientific Python Anaconda ready to go. And look, like I said, look for the next video to talk about how to do the Jupyter Notebook uh, and then to get ready to do the other topics.